Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Syaki Zufairi and I will be presenting our database group project. So this is our group member Nurina Syamimi, Muhammad Zul Iskandar, Intan Syahliana and me Muhammad Syaki Zufairi. So this is a uh, three main thing in this slide, which is the entity relationship diagram, ERD, business rule, query and output of the query. First of all, I will show you our ERD. So this is our ERD, which consists of seven table. Uh, each have different entity, which is customer, waiter, manager, menu audit, chef cashier and pizza so the next one is i will presenting our business rule this is our business rule the first one is many customers orders are taken by a waiter a waiter takes many orders from customers the next one is the kitchen receive many orders a waiter passes many orders from customers to the kitchen the next one is chef cooks many orders and many orders are cooked by a chef. Many managers observe many orders. Many orders are observed by many managers. And the last one is a cashier receive many payment from many orders. Many payments from many orders are paid to the cashier. So the third one is the query and the output. First of all is the SQL data manipulation language DML which is insert, update and delete statement. First of all is the insert. My first query for the insert is insert 7 order data with order number, quantity, size and total price in menu order table. So this is the SQL and this is the output. Next. Insert 7 cashier data with order number, cashier ID and name in the cashier table. So this is the SQL and this is the output. The third one is insert 7 chef data with order number, chef ID and name in chef table. So this is the SQL and this is the output. The fourth one is insert 7 customer data with customer ID, name, address, and order number in customer table. So this is the whole SQL and this is the output. The, the fifth one is insert seven customer data with manager ID, name, manager contact, and order number in manager table. This is the SQL and this is the output. The sixth one is insert seven waiter data with order number, waiter ID, and name in waiter table. So this is the SQL and this is the output. The seventh and the last one for the insert is insert three pizza data with pizza ID, pizza sizes and pizza price in pizza table. Insert into, uh, so this is the uh, SQL and this is the output. So next we jump to the update queries. So the first query for the update is change the size of pizza with order number P002 to L. So the SQL statement is update menu order set sizes equal to L where order number P002. The next query is change the name of customer with the customer ID C007 to Iman. So this is the SQL statement. Query 3 is change the address of the customer with customer ID C003 to Taman Bahagia. So this is the SQL statement. So for query 4, change the quantity, size and total price of menu ordered with ID P005 to 6, R and 120 respectively. So this is the, uh, so this is the SQL statement. The fifth and the last query for update is change the name and mobile number of customer with customer ID C001 to Shukri and 011345267 respectively. So this is the SQL statement.
next we will go to the delete for the first query is delete all row in waiter table so this is the sql statement the second query is delete rows in the menu order table that has total price more than 100 so the sql statement is this the third one is delete rows in the chef table that has chef id ch001 so the sql statement is this the fourth one is delete rows in the menu order table that has more than 20 values in total price and order number is p003 or sizes is in regular size r so this is the sql statement for query number five uh, delete rows in the customer table with the name hanif or with the customer id c002 so this is the sql statement Next, we go to the SQL data, manu uh, data manipulation language, DML, relational, algebra, and select statement. First of all, this is the first query, which is list all order details with personal size of pizza, P, in menu order table. So, this is the SQL statement and the uh, relation, relational algebra, or RA, and this is the output. For query number 2, List customer detail who has number phone that, start with, that starts with 01 and ends with 3. So this is the SQL statement and the, relation, the, and the RA and this is the output. For query 3 is retrieve order number and total price for menu ordered with quantity that more than 5. So this is the SQL statement and the RA. So and the last one is the output. For query number 4, retrieve customer ID, name, address, customer contact and rename the column as CID and customer detail. So this is the SQL statement and the RA and this is the output. For the last one for the selection, uh, query 5, retrieve menu details that have 7 visa, regular size and 140 total price. So this is the SQL statement and the RE, and this is the output. So my name is uh, Muhammad Zul Iskandar, and I will be continuing Shaki's presentation. So for the, there are five data queries that involves the aggregation and grouping operation. So here is the first query. Uh, it is to retrieve how many order has been ordered by the customer. So here is the SQL statement and the relational algebra and then here is the output as my count. So for the second query is to retrieve all the order that the chef bake and here is the SQL statement and the relational algebra and here is the output which is Iskandar and Yoi Kihira that bake 4 and 3. So next for the third query which is retrieve total pizza has been baked for each size and this is the SQL statement and relational algebra and for the output it is uh, in order which is grouping which is a uh, large personal and regular then for the fourth query is to retrieve uh, the serve order by each waiter and here is the SQL statement, relational algebra, and the output uh, for Shafiq Lisa. And then there is the serve order. And the last one, which is fifth query, to, is to retrieve total sales of each size of pizza by ascending order. So here is the SQL statement and relational algebra, and the sizes and the total sales which is the total price by in sum and grouped by the the sizes next we go to the five data queries that involves inner and outer joint operations so for the first query is to display order number quantity size total price chef chef's id and chef's name of the menu order using join to join the tables here is the sql statement relational algebra and the output 
as you can see here's the output next we go to the second query is to display order number quantity size total price managers contact managers id and managers name of the menu order sort the total price in ascending order use join table uh, i mean use join to join the table and then here's the uh, sql statement relation algebra and the output of the sql statement next we go to the third query is it is to display order number quantity size total price customers contact customers id customers name and customers address of menu order sort the quantity in descending order and use join to join the tables here is the sql statement relational algebra and the output next we go to the fourth query it is to retrieve the total price quantity size customer's name customer's address with menu number is p001 and p007 use natural join to join the tables and then here is the sql statement relational algebra and the output next we go to the fifth query which is to list menu order and pizza with the same size and any unmatched pizza so for the sql statement here it is and relational algebra and the output next we go to the five data queries that involves the nested or subqueries operation so for the first one is display all menu ordered information that have total price more than the average total price for all other order so here's the sql statement for the query one and relational algebra and the output as you can see it display all the menu order information and the total price next we go to the second query it is to display order now quantity sizes total price information that have customer name akmal so here's the sql statement relation algebra and output so for the third query it is to display customer id name address customer contact information that have total price more than 300 so here is the sql statement relation algebra and the output next we go to the fourth query it is to display order number quantity sizes total price information that have size of personal or large so here's the sql statement relation algebra and the output so next we go to the last one which is fifth query of this nested and sub queries it is to display chef id name information that have quantity pizza made more than five so here's the sql statement and relation algebra and lastly the output okay that's all for our presentation thank you for watching